Hey guys, this is the OK Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about the Micro Profiler. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is mainly because there have been a few questions in the comment section about, oh, you know, this game or this part of my game is lagging. You know, I don't know why. Can you help me out? And usually we can get to the bottom of it. But there are some special cases where we just can't do that from uh, normal talking and we have to get into the specifics. And that is what I guess I'll be trying to simplify or cover here. So yeah, um, let's just get straight into it. There's no scripting really needed. So yeah. Now the micro profiler is brought up by pressing Control F6. So I'm just going to do that right now. Control F6. And you can see <clears throat> that this sort of... Uh, conveyor of orange bars is uh, popping up on the top here. And what this is showing is basically how long it's taking for the computer to process that, I guess, frame, you could say. <clears throat> because uh, any video or game you play, it's uh, the thing you're seeing is technically just pictures being shown at you at a very uh, fast pace. And I'm talking, you know, milliseconds here. That's why there's uh, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. That's just saying how long, you know, <clears throat> or sorry, how many pictures are shown to you every single second or every second. So the video you're watching right now is probably either at 30 or 60. But yeah, now, of course, here, there's not a lot to go on, right? You may see some spikes here and there. Those are probably known as those lag spikes, the ones that you don't exactly like. <clears throat> But there's actually a way to actually delve into the specifics of that, and that is what we're going to do today. So um, if you didn't see already, I have there's a small menu up here that shows many different things. We're just going to be covering this pause button right here and into mode, and we're going to be going into detail right over here. I know, that was very cursed. But yeah, now what pause does is it just sort of pauses it as it says, and you can actually like, uh, sorry, analyze it without it going crazy like you just uh, sh saw. So I'm just going to go to pause right here, click that, and I'm going to go to mode over here into the drop down and click on detailed. Now what this is going to do is it's going to bring up this sort of chunk of bars everywhere on your screen. And of course, if you want to take this out, you can always turn this to off. And of course, all of this will go away. But what I'm going to do is Basically, I'm going to just go to detail right over here, once again. And I'm just going to look at these bars right here. So uh, what really goes on in here is it shows pretty much what's up here, but into a more specific or into a more detailed sort of form. So um, depending on how long the bars are, that's how long the computer takes to, I guess, process everything and show it to your screen. So as long as these bars are, these are actually in mere milliseconds. As you can see, this very long bar named perform right here is only three milliseconds long. So you can see that these things are actually very short, despite their immense length from here. But um, what, yeah, what, uh, what's going on here is it's just showing every sort of individual thing. So things like worker run job, which is uh, scripts. So, you know, let's say you had a lot of wow chudu scripts. That's probably going to make this a lot longer because it'll take more time for the computer to process it. So let's say I had, I don't know, like 10 while Chudu loops in the workspace somewhere here. Well, this worker run job bar is probably going to get very long. I don't know, maybe go down to over here or something. Same for, let's say, ID opaque, or in other words, opaque sort of blocks. So blocks that are not transparent. So maybe I have, I don't know, 10,000 parts or opaque parts, right? In, in this base plate that are in my view right now. Well, ID opaque is going to get very long as well as scene, right? This is a sort of a subcategory, just so you know, kind of like a parent and a child, like in the workspace. But yeah, ID opaque is probably going to get very long because, well, there's so many opaque blocks. It, the computer is going to take a long time to process every single one of them and show to the screen. That's probably why if you have a lot of parts in your game, that's why it might lag a lot or have a low frame rate is because the computer is taking so long to check every, I guess, every individual part and sort of show it to your screen in one picture. I hope I uh, cover that really quick. 
but yeah, anything in here is should or at least should be decently self-explanatory. So there shouldn't be anything to worry about much here. Let me just pause that again so your eyes don't die. But you can see um, sometimes these things do disappear and that's because you've paused it for too long. Uh, the buffer is full or in other words, the computer just can't store that. So it just sort of trashes it out. So you might have to reset this pause thing every once in a while. But you can actually go in here and I guess see what's causing your lag. So you know, you can just take a look around. And of course, whatever's the longest, I would recommend you to try to shorten as much as you can. Don't go fine-tuning, but try to tick out some of the more, I guess, bigger problems. So let's say you had, uh, once again, let's say a lot of wild do scripts. You can go to the micro profiler, you know, uh, pause it, go to mode, detailed, and you can see, you can see like, oh, worker run jobs, like, has a very long bar, oh then that must mean that there's probably a lot of script things going on that I should probably cut out, you know? So yeah. Now, of course, that's not, of course, going to be all, to, all for today. If um, you already have a general idea of what um, this does, then you're free to, I guess, leave now ha and, ha and have a nice day. But if you want to see an example, that's what I'll be doing right now. Uh, hopefully, future Steelkit Gaming will be cutting this out or at least speeding this up. Alright, so um, what I've done uh, right here is I've just cloned a bunch of parts. Um, they're opaque, of course. And I have uh, kept them unanchored so that when the game runs, uh, they'll fall down to the ground. Now, what I'm expecting to happen here is that the bars um, that are ID uh, opaque and uh, I believe one called physics should get longer in the micro profiler. Once again, this is just an example. You don't actually have to follow this. I just wanted to show you how this uh, these things sort of work. So hopefully, if my game doesn't crash, you can see that you know things are falling right. It's okay, right? But let's just uh, pause that again right there, and let's go to mode detailed again and go check on these frames. All right, right here. And as you can see, there are some things that are actually longer here, if you uh, haven't noticed. But things like uh, simulation, or I guess physics stepped, things like that, have gone in a little longer. And of course, the reason for that is because, well, there's physics going on, there's parts coming down, you know? There's some that are colliding, things like that, right? So that's why simulation or physics stepped is longer. So in a sort of uh, programmer or developer state, you probably think, oh, well, I should probably t anchor some parts or at least not take some out. Along with that, you can see that the bar ID opaque is also much uh, is also a little longer. And of course the reason for that is because well there are a lot of opaque blocks here, you know? Things like that. And also the reason why there is color correction right here is actually because of this of uh, lighting right here. I have some color cor correction right here. So that's uh, that's also why that's there. It's kind of cool what you can see. And then, you know, shadows, well, there's a little bit more shadows, so this bar should probably, I, I'd expect this one to be slightly longer, although I really have no idea if it actually is. But yeah, um, I hope that this tutorial was, um, I guess, easily explained, or at least to some extent that you can understand. I hope that the micro profiler can help you in some way, you know, fix some lag in your game. And if not, then I hope that uh, if you try, you at least learn something new or some extra thing you didn't know you could do on Roblox or Roblox Studio in general. But yeah, um, that's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. But other than that, uh, that is all for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!